Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited to share with you my Ever After High dollhouse tour. For some background information on the dollhouse itself, this was a custom project that we did. Um, this white frame dollhouse I received from a family friend. It's fully wooden and it came to us fully white and unpainted. So we cleaned it and painted it and customized the sides as well. So here's a glance at that. And of course, we added appropriate furnishings, accessories, wallpapers, and floorings to go with each room. So let's get started. At the top here, we have the Ever After High emblem. I also have around the house some uh, LED lights and flower streamers just to mimic the ivy that grows on the Ever After High school. So let's begin with the chemistry classroom. So in this classroom here, we have Cupid sitting down. We have two plastic chairs. These were from the dollar store. I put some school supplies on top. In the back, we have some cubbies to put your belongings before you change into your science goggles. So here's a caddy right here. It's filled with different potions. Um, there's a mask, some other glasses. Um, this science lab playset comes from Barbie. So I kept most of those original accessories, added a couple things. It also came with this lab stool that Cupid's sitting on. In the corner, we have an easel. This is from the Ever After High sugar-coated playset. And here is another easel. And both of these posters come from American Girl doll stem craft book. And yeah, and lastly, here's Cupid and she's holding a little composition notebook. So here is the chemistry classroom. Now, moving to the right of that, we have the Vault of Lost Tales. I really wanted my Ever After High dollhouse to feature some kind of library, but the library itself is very ornate and um, with very high ceilings, and so I couldn't exactly duplicate that, but then I remembered I could make the Vault of Lost Tales. Kind of has that dingy basement vibe um, and can fit into any space. So first we have a table that is a, a tree growing from the ground, and I have some paper books on top of it. In the corner, I have a door just to add a little dimension to this brick wall. This main table is from Maddie's Hattastic Tea Party playset, and on top of it, I've added some different books, a magnifying glass, um, an Ever After High big book from Legacy Day. Here, this table, I mean, uh, bench is also from the Hattastic Tea Party set. And I thought it worked well because there's um, books that are um, at the bottom of it. Added some more books on top of that. In the background, we can see there's a little easel back there with an Ever After High book on it. There's sort of a coffin that I thought added to the secret vibe of this vault. I have some more books, just um, paper cutouts on the wall. Maddie over here is sitting on a trunk. She is a frequent visitor of the Vault of Lost Tales. And then we have a DIY like little cabinet with more books on it and some accessories at the top as well. So yeah, that is the Vault of Lost Tales. Next, we can move down to the glass slipper. Of course, the glass slipper isn't within Ever After High itself. It's in the Village of Bookend as its separate store, but I really wanted to incorporate this, so here it is. So here's Ashlyn Ella. She's sitting on this bench, also from the sugar-coated playset. Under the bench, I have various doll-sized shoe boxes, such as the ones from Real Littles. I also added this mouse from the Cinderella fairy tale because she is daughter of Cinderella. Also on the walls, we have some sayings like step out of your frame, and various sale posters, such as a Midnight Madness sale, um, uh, advertisement for the Red Shoes Dance Club, deals that will sweep you off your feet. So lots of Ever After High puns and nods to the lore. Also some paper cutouts um, on this side wall. Now um, on the floor, we have a nice crocheted rug. There's this stool that I DIY'd that matches Ashlyn's, Ashlyn's colors and a little Disney bird on the top. On this tree, this is from the Hattastic Party playset. I used it as sort of a purse hanging tree, so purses on every single branch. And there's also a laptop that Ashlyn can ring up sales on. In the back, we have a sign we made that says the glass slipper. We also have some shoes and purses from Barbie, um, Rainbow High, just a lot of different things that I shoved in those different shelves, um, some more shoe boxes, tissue paper, all of that just to make a filled store and every once in a while I'll go around and swap out the inventory. And lastly there's also a little broom in the corner because you know Ashlyn always has to keep up on her chores. 
All right. Next, we have Apple's room. Of course, we know in the show that Apple and Raven share a dorm room, but our rooms weren't big enough to have the traditional dorm arrangements. So here is Apple's room. This is the Apple White fainting bed. Really love this furniture piece. She's got um, her <coughs> mirror phone charging. We also made this mirror pad. Um, here's Blondie Locks sitting on the bed. We also have a paper window here and a Apple mirror and Apple clock. On this side, some more wall hangings and a DIY kind of dresser slash cabinet I made that holds some different jewelry, headbands. At the top, she's got her purse and of course a trophy because Apple is definitely competing for the number one spot in everything she does. We also have a shoe box here and her crown. And I used her blanket as a nice rug. Also in the corner, even though Apple actually has a pet box for her pet, I gave her a bunny over here and some carrots. And of course, we can't forget Apple herself. She's sitting on this elaborate throne that I made many years ago, um, custom fitted for Ever After High Dolls. And she's holding up a mirror and checking out her reflection. So yeah, that is Apple White's room. Next, we've got Raven. In the back, we have Raven's vanity. Um, and I really like this piece. It really ties the whole room together. I added some things on her desk, which come from the playset, but also like that Polaroid I added. I also added this outfit from LOLOMG because I thought it really worked with her color scheme. And on the walls, we have various hangings like stars, music notes, a note from the Evil Queen, some curtains. Yeah. And now we have Raven. She's sitting on a throne over here. She's got a purple goblet in hand. And here is her side table. This was just um, a box that I put her cape on top, so it kind of looks like a tablecloth. She's got a mannequin with a elaborate collar and crown, added some potions, spider web, a book for her songwriting. And yeah, that is what Raven's room looks like. And now we can move down a floor to the O'Hare sisters room. This is probably my favorite in the dollhouse. So yeah, we, we were able to have them share a room and this bunk bed, um, I used the frame from the Monster High Generation 1 Claudine's bunk bed. Um, you'll see the bottom bed is actually different. I used the bottom bunk uh, as you'll see in my Monster High dollhouse, I used it over there. So I'm filling in with a Briar Beauty bed. So up here, we've got Holly O'Hare. She's laying down. She has um, a magic hairbrush in hand and I added some plush to that top bunk and also a sign in the back that I painted that says Rebels and I added a chandelier up there. Now here is Poppy. She's sitting on this nice hairstyling chair and this is a DIY vanity, just a mirror placed on top of a little chest of drawers. I added some makeup accessories from Barbie on there and a vase of flowers. Here on the wall, we added a lipstick decoration and we made some curtains, added some flowers on the windowsill. There's a purse hanging on this side and also some more on this side, a little trash can, a little welcome mat rug and a paper door for them. We also have this TV that they can watch, some slippers on the ground. Um, on the bed, I added a mirror, uh, bedazzled the curtain a little bit with a rose. And lastly, next to this bottom bed, there's a little nightstand area a mirror in front of that and a neck pillow that's on the bed. So definitely a place with a lot of character and I like how all the pieces really match the purple and pink color scheme. And next we have the Castleteria. I love food for dolls so this was definitely a must. This picnic table is from the Monster High school playset and so some of the food is from Monster High Others are erasers or from mini brands. We also have a little magical carpet that's serving some drinks over here. We also have some banisters just like in the real Ever After High Castleteria. In the back, we have an oven where students can pick up their desserts. So this oven is from the sugar coated playset. And then I added on top a cake that students can take a slice from. Here is Briar. She has got a tray and her food picked out. We also have a menu 
um, that uses a lot of different phrases or fairy tale themed kind of foods that we've seen around Ever After High's books or webisodes. Here's Jillian Beanstalk. She is checking out her locker and reading from the bulletin board. This bulletin board has some information on uh, the Village of Bookends businesses. And yeah, this locker section is just some paper lockers that I printed out. There's also a recycling bin back there. And yeah, so that is what is in the cafeteria. And moving outside of the dollhouse, I also have some setups over on the ground. So starting off, we have Gingerbread House's bake stand. So here's Ginger herself. We made some gingerbread for her to hold, of course. And her customer over here is Heartstruck Cupid. And she is reading the dessert menu. On the bake stand itself, we have some accessories from the playset itself, but also some little things I added for the holiday season. And a chalkboard on the side. So that is Ginger's bake stand. Next, we have Maddie's tea shop slash haberdashery. This is, of course, not as elaborate as the one in the show. Um, and I wish I, when I first made it many years ago, I wish I made it more colorful. But this is what we're working with. And we, here is Madeline Hatter in the corner. She's sitting on a chair from the Hattastic Party tea set. Um, and over here, we've got various tea accessories and food. Back there on the table, we've got... Um, some cake that we made out of clay and another cake that says happy birthday that's a candle and another menu back there a teapot and here's hattastic party apple white she's holding a teacup and of course we have some wonderlandian friends so we've got a rabbit over here that's trying out a potion we've got another kind of cat creature having a cup of tea and we have a cat dancing just to add to the whimsical theme of wonderland so yeah now we can move to Lizzie Hartz's dorm room. This is using the Lizzie Hartz Spring Unsprung playset. So I have that back there, but I've also added a few things inside, like um, photos of Lizzie, a dress, a purse, a balloon, a crown, just different things that could complement her room and color scheme. Next we have Lizzie and Cerise eating together, kind of an unlikely combination, but I thought their color schemes worked really nicely together. So yeah, Cerise has got a red cup in hand, Lizzie's got her cards, and they are having some lunch, so some pizza, a milkshake, and of course, tea while playing cards. And back there, also a side table with some purses, jewelry box, and a trophy. Right next to them, we enter the Enchanted Forest where Ashlyn and Hunter are having a picnic. Of course, they need to keep it vegetarian, so we've got some bread and some veggies and some fruits and a vase of flowers. This is Legacy Day Ashlyn. Really love her outfit. There's also the squirrel from... Of course, had to add him. And Hunter is holding a bouquet of roses. On this picnic basket is also another picnic-themed tea set. So yeah, that is what the picnic setup looks like. Behind them is a gazebo that I have from doll packaging that I thought um, I really wanted to keep. Not sure what I'll do with it yet, but it's just kind of standing in the background for now. And we've got Darling Charming, and she is brushing her horse. It's not an official Ever After High horse, but I thought it really complemented her character's color scheme. And lastly, if we go up this ladder, we've got the Throne Coming playset. So here's Briar and Duchess, another unlikely pair, um, but I've got them seated on a Barbie couch and there's this coffee table that I DIY'd. I added some drinks and a fairy from the Sleeping Beauty tale, some slippers down there, a fuzzy rug, a dress for Briar, and yeah, they are almost ready to go to the dance. So if you go through this gate, now we've got the throne coming dance. So here's Cedar Wood, she's singing. Of course, we have Melody Piper as the DJ. And this is a Wild Hearts Crew doll that I just added because I don't have Justine Dancer. Um, yeah, and then right up here on the balcony, we've got some roses and some gnomes. So yeah, that is my full Ever After High setup and um, dollhouse plus external play sets and setups that I've done. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know 
if you have a favorite part of it, and I'll see you soon.